Hi guys, my name is Milton from Winden and welcome to the Pope Code Festival here in Bratislava. Behind me, the 550 euro main event just wrapped up and Vladimir Bednar managed to grab a significant chip lead with 421,500 chips after 75 entries started the day with 50,000 chips. While everyone right now is enjoying some welcome drinks over at the Player Lounge, let's have a look at how did they start it 50 kilometers away in Vienna. Hi Team Poker Code, we're at the bus station right now waiting for uh, all the Team Poker Code members uh, to arrive and then we're going to Bratislava. As you can see, the day started quite early for those taking the poker code bus from Vienna to Bratislava. But at 12 p.m. with 15 players on the clock, day 1A of the 550 euro poker code festival main event kicked off. Let's have a look. We're starting the day on level 3 with 300, 600, 600. There are 30 out of 32 players left. And here we have Prayer Dino, the stream team member with 85,000 chips. We jump to level 6, 600, 1200, 1200. 44 out of 71 players left. And we go into Grindhouse 2 member Bumi, already sitting on 197,000 chips. And right after the second break of the day, we jump into level 7. And it's Konstantin Hammermuller sitting on 330,000 chips being the current chip leader of the tournament. But Hammermuller couldn't hold on to the chip lead because we are in level 11. It's the final level of the day. 21 players remain out of the 75 that registered for day 1A of the main event. We have Ruud Nauta sitting on only 100,000. We have Fredinho moving up with 215,000. And here we have what will eventually be the end of day chip leader, Vladimir Bednar, sitting on an impressive 500,000 chips. And that was it for day 1A of the main event. 75 players entered and 21 are going through to day two. Uh, I ended the day with 214k chips. Yeah, and it was a pretty clean run. I was all in at the beginning one time with a top two pair against nut flush draw and top pair top kicker. It went in on the flop three way and I busted the first two players in the tournament. It was like super early and after it, it was a pretty clean run. I didn't have my um, tournament life on the line once after it. And um, yeah, it went pretty smooth. I had a really nice day actually. It was a really fun uh, experience, really fun atmosphere. There were really nice players at the table. Uh, yeah, just was cruising all day, uh, won some pots, uh, started the day actually really good. The first five hands, I had like four major hands. So at, at the beginning, I, 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 I uh, catapulted to, uh, to like 80k at the, at the start. And then, yeah, it was like winning some pots, winning some pots, 100k, 120k. And at some point I knocked some guy out from uh, the grindhouse, uh, I guess. Grindhouse too, I have to say. <laughs> I knocked another guy, guy out with queens against uh, ace three. So I was cruising, cruising, and then uh, one hand uh, uh, against Kate. We were battling against each other and uh, yeah, just uh, it was really fun and sometimes she won and sometimes I won and then at this moment I, I had the hand against her, I opened pocket aces of course <laughs> to 6 uh, k and she 3 bet to 15k and I put it I put her in for like her last 60k and she caught with uh, uh, Queen Jack suited, so one of the better hands against aces uh, if you if you need a hand against aces and then uh, I was I was like yeah good luck and uh, the flop came three spades, so uh, instant dead. <laughs> I made day two with 108k, so yeah, I'm still happy and uh, just always keep smiling and uh, better things will follow. The first table was fun. I sat um, for a couple of hours next to Zep, 
um, and we had a, a really good table. Then I needed to change the table, and then one was really good too. I made a new Dutch friend. Uh, shout out to uh, Ruud Poker. Yeah, we were just joking around, and of course you're you're playing poker, and when you're in the hand, you're serious. But at at the uh, at, uh, at the pa uh, the past moments, you're just having fun and uh, taking some joke with each other, and have a drink afterwards. So yeah, it was really fun. And he's also like a really nice guy, and he was just joking around. And the funny thing was when we uh, back for day two, he didn't know how to do it because he's an online player. <laughs> So I helped him with that, and uh, we were struggling with that, and uh, yeah, it was really funny. Uh, he, he, he said, yeah, I have no clue how to do this. Uh, online, it's uh, going automatically. It was fun playing, it was fun chatting. Um, I ran good, so it was, was a good day. Day 1A of the 550 Euro Poker Festival main event just wrapped up. As you can see, they're already having fun right behind me, but they're not the only ones having fun. Follow me. As you can see, this is where the fun stuff happens. So I started a little late. I, I was up late last night, so I, uh, I slept in and, and regged around two o'clock. The flight started at noon, so late reg. First bullet didn't go too well. I was I was done within you know an hour and a half, and then I re-registered, and it went pretty well from there. I, I spun it up to about around 160, and then back down to about 110 to finish the day. So I think starting day two, I'll have around 27 bigs, not bad. The atmosphere is amazing. It's like, it's not like any poker tournament I've ever played. You can tell it's just fun. Like ever, like lots of people know each other. I met probably 10 different people just from the community who I didn't know who they were, just sitting at the table talking with them. Um, and then while I was playing, I was actually a little jealous because there, there was a little community gathering going on on the side and everyone was chatting and drinking and having a good time. So it just created a nice atmosphere for me for the entire poker room. From the poker, so poker Code team side, I do see it as a success. I think it's, you know, it's a Thursday and there's already over 70 runners and you can tell there was tons of other Poker Code members that didn't even play the flight today. So I would say from the team perspective, there's tons of members here and uh, I think it's gonna be a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I see you tomorrow. Cheers.